after I had the reconstruction done and with the implants at about a year, I started having horrific vertigo. And of course I was passing it off as something else. I did not really correlate it with the implants until years later. And many other symptoms followed that with anywhere from feeling like you're dying to having absolutely no energy at all to pain and it was awful. I didn't really know what was going on. It was actually my daughter who actually saw a show about BII and asked if I shouldn't maybe try to do some research in it. And so I did. And I was absolutely astounded. Many, many young women on there telling their stories about having these breast implants and getting very ill. And that's when I decided I knew right then and there that that had to be it. I wanted the best, and I found out that Dr. Khan was the best, and that's when I reached out to him. Dr. Khan is a very kind human being, beyond just being a great doctor. When I was going through all of that, he actually gives you his cell number, and you can reach him anytime you need him, and he made you feel like you were his only patient, and um, I felt very, very comfortable with him. He did an in block, which meant that he took out the full capsule with the implant, therefore leaving none of that poison behind to make you still sick. And he is also very good in his craft as well as scarring. He know he's a microsurgeon, so everything turned out beautifully. If somebody was considering today that to get their implants removed or not, do it now, today, before your health deteriorates. Because I had mine in for 15 years, and I'd love to have those 15 years back. Today, I feel so much better. I feel freer now that I don't have them in me because they do feel like foreign objects in your body. They don't belong there. I feel healthier, by far. There was times where I felt like I was literally dying. So today I'm feeling wonderful. And I want to thank Dr. Khan for that because he made that possible.